What's up guys, welcome to my new vlog, where today we're going to talk about 5 tips to get a 5 on the AP Human Geography exam. So let's get started. The first tip is definitely to get a review book. So this is a review book that I got from last year, and as you can see, this is the Kaplan edition. And then this is a good review book, because you want a review book that's going to give you lots of practice, and will also give you a summary of everything you've learned throughout the year so you can recap everything you've learned so you can be well prepared for the exam you can get this or you can also get a barons which has a green border around the edge or a princeton review which has a gold edge and so these are all good review books and so for the kaplan and the princeton review there will be year numbers, so you want to get the newest edition, so that will probably be 2018 to 2019. While for Barons, there's the latest edition, so you can find that out online as well. So the second tip is definitely to know your vocab. This is all my vocab from last year, and you can see there's a lot. Human Geography is a really vocabulary intensive course and if you know your vocabulary you'll be good for the exam so make sure you review all the vocab that your teacher has assigned you over the course of the year and also you really want to know your models and so uh, here's a list of the models that my teacher gave me and then these models are good because these models are essential to the exam, and if you know these models, you should be good for the exam. Make sure you know the people who created them and how to apply it and when to apply it. So my third tip is definitely to do more multiple choice. You can find multiple choice in your review book. They should be around, there should be plenty of them in your review book. And the more you do, the more familiar you get with it, and so you should be prepared for the multiple choice section. And so the fourth tip is definitely to do more FRQs. FRQs are good because it's half your exam, so you need to write a lot and you got to make sure you know what you're doing. So once again, vocabulary is, in, is important and if you can do more FRQs, you can get more in the swing of things and you can understand everything better. And so you can do FRQ practice in these review books and if you don't have the time, you can just write an outline. And then in the outline, you can do FRQ practice. But the more FRQs you write, generally, the better you'll be prepared. And the fifth tip is definitely to relax. I know this is probably the first AP exam for a lot of you, but seriously, it's not that bad. And once you get past the first one, you'll be a lot better prepared for all your other exams. So it begins with 60 minutes of 75 multiple choice questions, and so you need to pace yourself for that. Then you have a 10 minute break. Generally, they let you go outside of the testing room so then you can, you know, get some fresh air. And then you conclude with three FRQs in 75 minutes. Once again, make sure you pace yourself, and that's pretty much the exam. Afterwards, you get to go home. And you know, it's a pretty good reason to skip school. But yeah, this exam should be a breeze if you've been doing your work all year, and I know you can get that high score if you take all these steps into consideration. So I hope to see you again, and thanks for joining me.